So work example 17.2 asks you to draw out the structure of butyl acetate. So pause the video and see what you come up with. So the key in writing the structure is remembering which part of the name comes from which chemical. So butyl is the part that comes from the alcohol. I got ill from alcohol. So butyl has four carbons and so when we look at the carbonyl carbon, the oxygen and four carbons will be from the alcohol. So this is the alcohol part and then acetate, that part comes from the carboxylic acid. So acetic acid has two carbons so we have the CH3 and then the carbonyl carbon and then we always have that carbonyl carbon bonded to an R group as well as a single bond to the oxygen. So the alcohol part is here. Um, this oxygen should also be in red and then that's the part from our acetic acid. Okay, so now let's look at this structure and see if you can figure out the name of it. So pause the video and determine its name. So we identify the alcohol part of our ester as this oxygen and then one, two, three carbons. So three carbons is propyl and so that will be the beginning of our name, propyl. And then our the part derived from our acid has the carbonyl group. So there are one, two, plus 16, so 18 carbons uh, in a saturated chain. And we remember that from previous in the chapter that that's stearic acid. So the name of this is going to be propyl stearate. So if you've got that, give yourself a pat on the back. All right, now let's look at some other examples. These are a little more challenging. So these come from the end of the chapter, 17.55. You're asked to give the systematic name for two of these esters and the structure for one of them. So pause the video and see what you get. Okay, so let's start with A. <clears throat> and this ester is not drawn the way they typically are. In this ester, the part that comes from the alcohol is written first and the part that comes from the acid is written second. So we look at the part that comes from the alcohol, the oxygen singly bonded to an R, oxygen singly bonded to the carbonyl, this is our alcohol part, and this would be um, cyclopentanol. So our first part is going to be cyclopentyl and then the second part if we look at our structure that comes from the acid the acid would be cyclohexanoic acid so the um, the name of the ester is going to be cyclohexanoate alright now let's look at the name we had ethyl 2-hydroxypropanoate so we know the part that came from the alcohol is going to be ethyl. So this oxygen bonded to the carbonyl carbon is going to have two carbons. So this is our ethyl part. And then 2-hydroxypropanoate. So propanoate means that our acid had three carbons, one, two, three. And there's also a hydroxy on the two carbons. So one, two, there's our hydroxy. And then last but not least, on the left, as it's typically drawn, we have the section of our ester that comes from the carboxylic acid. So this comes from benzoic acid, so the second part of our name will be benzoate. And then on the right, we have the part that comes from our alcohol. And one, two, three, this is from propyl alcohol or propanol, so the name of our ester is propyl benzoate. If you got those right, give yourself a pat on the back.